Hey people, in my workshop today, I've got a 2005 Nissan X-Trail. They're probably called something else overseas. I don't quite know. Um, it has the QR25 engine in it. Um, this one's losing coolant and overheating. So let's have a look at what's going on. These particular engines are known for spitting out a head gasket um, later in their life. So looking at this here, it does still all look like fairly factory silicon all around here. I don't think this head's been off before. Um, it all looks pretty ridgy dig under here. So because these don't have an oil cooler, I'm pretty confident already that this is going to be a head gasket issue. Um, and looking at that volume of emulsified oil in there, um, I'm pretty certain. Also too, I'm noting that I've got no oil actually in my radiator at all. Now if you have an oil cooler, sometimes you get oil mixing both ways. So so before we go any further, I probably will just do a quick compression test to make sure things are okay rather than spending the time and energy on it um, and then finding bigger problems later on. So we're looking for around about 170, 180 PSI. They're the black numbers around here. Um, if you do kilograms per centimetres squared, we're looking around about 12.1 is what the specs tell me. Um, but obviously we can't do anything until these coils come out. And these plugs come out. The first thing I notice when I pull the coils out that um, they're not drenched in oil or um, any sort of coolant or water in there, so that's a good sign. Now you're going to need a spark plug socket. What's this? A 16 mil, 5 eighths, um, and a little bit of an extension bar. Come through and just loosen these all off. Now we've got them out of here but you can't reach. So what you need is a little magnetic pickup tool. So we can use that. Pop it in, pull the plug out. And it looks like fairly new spark plugs. So that's, um, hey, that's a bonus. So we'll sit them out in order. The other option, if you don't have one of these, just grab one of your coils and use that to pull them out. Number two. Number three, number four. I'm um, just looking at these, they're all looking pretty well how I'd expect. Um, this one is a little bit different. It looks like um, it's got, got a little bit of coolant on it because we're suspecting a head gasket issue with this, but that was number two. So it'd be interesting to have a look at number two when we pull that um, cylinder head off. We'll do a quick compression test now and see what's happening. Now, by rights, I should hold the throttle fully open. I should also disconnect all the uh, fuel injectors or I should disconnect the fuel pump. Um, look, I'm gonna be a bit lazy today and just zip through that. I'm focusing on a little bit of speed, but I'll crank this over to probably get a couple of pumps up on here and we'll see what pressure we get. So on that one, let me bring it up a bit closer. What have we got about 135, 140 PSI. We're really aiming for about the 175, so that's a bit low. Bear in mind too, this engine is still cold and I've got the um, throttle closed. But let's check the others. Now number two was the one that had a slightly different spark plug colour, so let's have a look what we got here. Um, look, a fraction lower, that one's probably sitting definitely 130-ish. Um, a little bit lower than the first one, but still pretty consistent. Okay, well, I am seeing a pattern here, so um, that's a good thing. A bit lower than what I wanted, but definitely consistent. One to go. And my last. So the compression on these was all pretty well spot on around about there. It's 
a bit lower than what the specs say it should be. Um, look, it could be my gauge, it could be the fact the engine's cold, it could be the fact the throttle's um, closed as well. Um, but looking at that, I don't have an issue with the compression in this engine. So, sweet. So the next quick check I'm going to do, it's called a CO2 leak detection. Um, essentially what this does is it sucks up a little bit of air through there and you can see it bubbling up through that solution. That solution will change colour if it detects CO2. So what I'm going to do, open up the cap, we're going to sit that in there, if it'll sit. I'm just going to block off this tube here because I don't want it drawing in any air through up through this way. So we'll just block that off. Typically they wouldn't draw any air through this because you'd have, well, typically they wouldn't draw any air anyway because that would be filled with coolant, but that's empty in this case. Um, what we need to do is start the engine, run the engine for a while and just pump this up through here to see if this detection fluid changes colour. If that changes colour, what it means is we're getting CO2 into our cooling system. Now sometimes that can be easy to see with bubbles up in your radiator, but um, sometimes you can't see them just because of the design and where the highest point is. So let's start it up. So it's still starting and running well. Let's sit this on here. Look, usually after um, 30 seconds to a minute sitting on here, we will start to see a color change. But I'm just going to start drawing it up through like this. And as we're starting to go, you can begin to see that color is starting to turn more yellow. It's getting away from the blue. So I'll bring that up. You can see what was originally blue is now sort of going a yellow green. But I'll keep going a bit further. And look, I've seen enough now to know that that colour's definitely changing. When you're using these, make sure that you don't have it up like this because it'll just suck in the air and there'll be CO2 in our air. Um, let me shut this engine down. Okay, in terms of a final diagnosis, it's losing coolant. We have oil that has coolant in it. We have a spark plug that's a different colour. We still have good compression, so that means we've still got a good engine underneath this. Uh, we have CO2 in our cooling system. It means to me that we have a head gasket issue. If this had an EGR cooler, you could get a false reading on this one. Um, if we had an oil cooler, you could get a mixing of coolant into your oil. Uh, but we don't have that in this particular case. So for this, it's definitely going to be a head gasket, so it's off with the head. If you want to watch those videos, please have a little look around my channel and you'll see those. Hey, thanks for watching this one today. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and uh, leave a comment, question or query below.